familiar for us all. Adding and subtracting in pile form, again, there's no shortcuts. Um, there's no magical, you know, you can put these components together. Um, you've just got to expand, expand into uh, Cartesian form. Add and subtract the real imaginary parts as appropriate and then come up with a simplified answer. All right, so you won't necessarily get a nice angle or anything like that afterwards. Um, I'll tell you, just follow your instructions and leave it in the form that you required. So, add and subtract as they appear. Um, 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 if we're dividing, we divide the radius and um, subtract the angles. Which means, if you think about it, if we're adding the angles, it means we're moving the point around that much. So um, when we multiply in polar form, the sort of we, we talk about um, how each point is being rotated that many degrees through a, a positive direction. And similarly, if we divide, we're we're moving it anti-clockwise through x number of degrees. So two cis pi on three root three cis three pi on four or the two times three is my two root three. And we add our angles together. Don't forget common denominators at the angles. So there's my 13 pi on 12, which is a representation. Um, but the more correct representation is our negative 11 pi on 12. Okay, so again, we just try to turn things into um, our um, principled argument form. If we're dividing, 6 on 9 is 2 on 3. That's no... No toughy. Pi on three minus two pi on five. Um, again, common denominators, we get our negative pi on 15. Um, we just notice, so far, you'll notice with the printouts from the CAS, getting the angle is sometimes a little bit messy on the CAS. Um, you just have to do a little bit of extra manipulation to sometimes get that 11 pi on 12, for example. And some of them don't appear at all very nicely. All right. So all of this is leading in towards the Marvelous theorem, the Marvelous theorem, or the moves um, any polar number raised to the, oh, sorry, any complex number raised to the power of n, if it's in polar form, can be written as r to the n and then cis n theta. And I guess we can we can go through the proof of it. What we're really saying is that if we're multiplying two numbers together. Well, we know we're doing r times r, and we've got cis theta plus theta. So if we just extrapolate on that, if I do it to the r cis theta times r cis theta times r cis theta, I'm going to have r times r times r, which is r cubed, and I'm going to have cis theta plus theta plus theta, which is 3 theta. So we just multiply it through. So in terms of evaluating, um, Again, radius is 1, 9 times pi on 3 is 9 pi on 3, which is cis 3 pi, which is cis minus pi. So minus pi is over on the okay, negative 1. So it's just going to be negative 1, isn't it? Um, cis 7 pi on 4, cis 7 pi on 3. Again, just a reminder, I guess that cis written that way, that's cis pi on three to the power of nine. This is cis pi on three to the power of seven. Um, so again, evaluate the individual. The seven comes in, so it becomes seven pi on three, seven pi on four minus seven pi on three, common denominators. We get negative 7 pi on 12. Um, the radius is 1 everywhere, so that doesn't change. Finally, this is where, instead of trying to do cubic expansions and an expansion to the power of 5, it makes sense to turn everything into polar form. So 1 plus i. Um, 
1 plus i, root 2 cis pi on 4, 1 minus root 3i, so the square root of 1 squared plus root 3 squared is square root of 4, which is 2. Uh, tan inverse of root 3 on 1, so the angle we're looking at is pi on 3 because it's root 3. Quadrant we're in, fourth quadrant, so negative pi on 3. So you get your two polar forms of your expression, and now we can raise them to the power of 3. So we end up with 2 to the half, which is root 2 to the power of 3, multiply the angle by 3. Um, 2 to the power of 5, multiply the angle by 5. Um, do your divisions when we're dividing index laws, we subtract the, the indices, um, subtract your angles, minus or minus is a plus. Um, so 2 to the negative 7 on 2, cis 29 pi on 2, which can be written as 5 pi on 2. Um, yeah. Um, all right, so that, that brings us in towards our factorising of our um, complex expressions. And look, completing the square is a massive tool for us if we're going to do it by hand. We just got, we got everything there. Have I missed something? Okay.